New ways to spend digital money were in every corner of the Inclusion ThinkTech conference when it opened today. Want to buy something while driving? Well, just tell your car. You can buy things just by using the center console. If you want to buy some music, just say the payment code to your car. Shopping with your car just in the testing stage at the moment. But voice print purchases are just one of the extended payment scenarios under review in China. Alipay, China's leading digital payments provider and also the organizer of the conference, says it's continuing to explore how to make digital money more conveniently available to everyone. We will explore ways to benefit people's daily lives, including transportation and public affairs. In many hospitals now, you can use Alipay's e-medical insurance card to pay your fees, rather than lining up in front of a window. This kind of thing will be a major payment trend in the future. It's not just private firms that are pushing the envelope in digital payments. The People's Bank of China is actively involved as well. Well, you can still take cash from your bank. In some test cities, you can take the cash with you electronically. This blockchain firm in Shanghai has been designing digital wallets for cryptocurrencies. But the company sees the big potential of the PBOC's e-wallets, the so-called Digital Currency Electronic Payment, or DCEP, as the central bank's involvement ensures properly regulated transactions. The central bank's plan for the DCEP is to encourage its use. Many merchants now accept WeChat Pay and Alipay. From a legal point of view, if it's a mature system, there is no reason to reject a digital currency. And from the perspective of applications, there is no big obstacle either because most people love to pay digitally rather than with paper money. There are plenty of digital payment scenarios here at the Inclusion FinTech Conference, but things don't just end here. With China's big plan to virtualize its currency, the country's FinTech industry is expected to grow even faster in the future. Chen Tong, ICS for CGTN. Shanghai.